if you want to go far, you need resilience. If you don't have resilience, you don't have structure. You don't have you don't have anything. You 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 give in to like guilty pleasures, like going out, drinking. Like you need to be very very strong minded to get far. I'll take that belt, and then I'm just coming for everything. Stephen Clancy Simmons, I'm 16 and I fight at a higher level in Bathgate. So I got into Muay Thai first when I was like really, really young. My real dad was a professional boxer. Uh, he was very, very good and my mum was like a, a, like a, a dance teacher. I was always so hyper when I was like in nursery. I was like the only one in a nursery on a behaviour card. I was like proper like getting into trouble all the time. Because I was so hyper, I needed something to like calm me down. My mum didn't know what would, so when she was dance teaching, I used to just sit at the side and watch her because there was no one else to watch me. But next door to her studio, there was like a Muay Thai gym. She used to just pay for a class and she would fire me in for two hours. And uh, it got to the point where like I was so uncontrollable that the guy put me out of Muay Thai. But it was like when I started Muay Thai, it was the only thing that would calm me down. So I would like train for two hours straight and then I'd come home and I wouldn't be so hyper. So that's how I like first started getting into Muay Thai. Then I got put out and I went to like boxing and I started boxing for a while. And then um, I met my stepdad, Sean, and he, he basically was the only one that could properly coach me. And then that's how he met my mum. It's quite weird, but that's how he met my mum. And then that's how I started learning MMA was from my stepdad. And my big brother, Sean uh, Clancy, he's just turned pro. He's really good. Uh, he was like one of my big reasons for getting into training, MMA especially. They have a massive influence, definitely. The biggest influence they have is knowing the feelings that I'm going through. So see like when I'm training and I've trained two weeks in a row, double sessions, and then they get to the point where all your friends are going out drinking, having a laugh, and then you're like, you feel like you're missing out. Whereas they've all went through that. So having a parent or someone there that can tell you like it's not worth it it's and like kind of guide you through like what you're going through because sometimes it, it's quite lonely i'm 16 and all my friends are out like partying drinking smoking it, it seems like such a good life but like i'm in here in it for the long run because i want to because i know like if i do this now and then i get to like the top top level i can do whatever i want like when i'm there so they have the influence of, like guiding me and put, pulling me through stuff like that after a win, I normally I just come straight back in, like in the training, like a few days after. If I'm not injured or anything like that, I'll come in, do light sessions, but I still try and keep a routine. If I fight and then I go away and say I go to like a party the next weekend, and then you start to like not train, you're waking up late, you're losing your routine. So to stay humbled, I, after a win, I come in, I just, I try, I'm, maybe I come into the gym, I'm not training, but I'm keeping my routine. So even if I'm waking up, still going to a morning session and sitting watching, it just keeps you in the loop sort of thing, keeps you humbled. The most memorable fight I won was definitely um, in Canada, WBC World Youth Games. I fought, um, I fought a Mexican boy. I don't even remember, it was like Emilio Hernandez or something. He was like, he was um, really good, he was professional. Uh, I think I'm the only boy that's beat him. Uh, he was 14 and 0 at the time, and in the tournament, on the first day, he TKO'd the boy, like straight away. And I had a really hard scrap with a Canadian boy. So that going into that fight was, was scary. He was, that was the toughest boy I've ever fought in my life. If you want to go far, you need resilience. If you don't have resilience, you don't have structure, you don't have, you don't have anything. You, you, you give in to like, guilty pleasures, like going out, drinking, like you need to be very, very strong minded to get far. There, there is a lot of sacrifice that needs to be made. I've lost friends through training. I see the boys in the gym more than I see like my mum at home eh, or my gran. So it's sometimes it's difficult because you don't get to see family or friends. Like I'll go go out in the morning and um, I'll do two hours training. I can't sometimes I can't get home because how far away the gym is from my house. So I'll stay through here all day, train the night session, then get in at 10 at night, say hi to my gran. She's just got in from work or something, eat food and then go to bed and then wake up and do the same thing. And then you only get like a, say a Saturday, a weekend where you're resty, and you're resting, you want to sleep. You don't, you don't want to go out and see, you can't socialise because you're tired, you need to recover and stuff. So it is hard, it's definitely like a lifestyle. It's not just a, ho like you, you can't treat it like a hobby if you want to go far. Defin I've definitely struggled with like losing friends, not being accepted because, because you don't get to see them. So 
say like I go to school with boys, but they're all seeing each other after school. They're doing like things with each other where I'm missing out. So it's hard missing out on stuff, but I just know that it's definitely going to be worth it in the end. One thing that got me through it, it like when I'm young, was um, finding someone that I look up to and want to be like when I'm that age, or want to like 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 a goal almost like. So there's like Mark Ewan, He's um, he's 23 and he trains at this gym. He's just signed a Bellator contract. Well, two years held him up, so he, he could have been 21 when he got this contract. Um, he's pro, he's, he's amazing. And he's like very humble. He's like the exact same, like he's training, he's at every session, like not missing out. So finding someone that you want to be like, like Chris Shaw as well, Chris Shaw is, Sometimes I just find someone that, that all, all, can almost mentor you and like push you through it so that you want to be like them like by the time you're that age or be better. That's the best advice is find someone that you want to be like and copy their routine sort of things. Like see what they're eating, see what they're doing at the weekends. Routine and staying humble and is such a big thing. Keeping in with like a good crowd as well is like having good people around you and then you will be a better person. So if you're kicking about with people that are like don't want to go anywhere, then you're going to be like that. Being proud of yourself as well, like confidence and being proud of what you're actually doing. So like, you know, you know you're going to, you know what you want to get to, but you need to be proud of yourself at the stage you're at as well. Just taking small steps until you get to the big, the big kind of part. The, the support I get from my family is like unreal. Like my great grand, she drove me up um, and she sits outside and, and waits. She believes in me. And, and she, she knows how dedicated I am. My family are brilliant. Like, if I'm in fight camp and it's cooking my meals, if I'm on, like, a strict diet and I, I can only have such and such and a certain amount of food, they'll, they'll meal prep and cook all my meals and everyone keeps me in check, like... So, so I get a lot of help from my family, definitely. I think a lot of people hit a wall, give up right before something good happens in training if they're if they're doing well and then they they get to the point where they're not going any further a lot of people struggle i did anyway pushing through that because there's always sort of light at the end of the tunnel it's like a constant thing and you just need to keep pushing like it doesn't matter what age you are if you're still at school it, it's like it doesn't matter you can still be doing like high level training you just need to be t like definitely turning up if you turn up and don't miss a session and be dedicated you'll improve rapidly. Training helps with my mental health a lot. Sometimes like because I'm training all the time I don't have that like I won't have as many friends as like what I did when I was like young so like coming in training all the time that helps like training just is like training is like my best friend like I don't really need anyone else if I've got just training constant and um, that's always how I've been. I've, I'm a social person but training just keeps me going. I used to lose my head when I was sparring. And just after constant training and getting beat up in sparring and stuff, you kind of keep your head. So now, like, if I'm in a tough fight, I can kind of stick to it, if you know what I mean. Like, I can, I, if I'm getting hit and I don't win an exchange, then I kind of just keep calm, keep your, keep your form, like, keep your formation. Don't, don't lose shape, and you just, you stay. I think a lot of people get dragged into fights and lose sometimes because they lose their head. Um, so I think being Mind strong is a, is a very, very big part of like st staying in a fight and sticking to a game plan. You need to be very headstrong. I'm so scared before a fight. Like, it's the scariest thing. You're told six weeks out, you, you get a date and you're like, you're fighting a person. He's won such and such. He's this good. You're like, all right. So you need to kind of prepare for it. And I think as it creeps in, you, you think like, it's a fight at the end of the day. Like. So, so you are scared going in because like you can get hurt in front of your family, friends. You can, you can get made to look like a fool sometimes. I'm definitely nervous before a fight. Like very, very nervous. I got in a lot of trouble at high school. Training kept me in check. The school phoned my mum one day and said that I was like, say I was like throwing stuff or if I was like getting into fights or being, being bad. The only thing that would stop me is if my mum told me I wasn't going to training. That was like my punishment was, you're not going to training tonight. So then that started giving me a bit of discipline if I, if I couldn't train. And that's the only thing that, that would keep me in check is if my mum was like, you're not going to training today, I'd be like, oh. So then I started not acting up as much in school. Uh, that changed me a lot. That def definitely gave me discipline. Training helps so much. Definitely, if you feel like you're someone that's getting into fights outside, you've got something that's like, because a lot of people don't like fighting and you, you get people that see if they were trained, they'd be so good. There's a lot of people that aren't 
smart, like I was never smart. I was way more of a physical person. Like my mental health goes along with my physical health. If I can't train for a few weeks, then I'll go dead down, I'll go downhill, I'll sit, I'll get into myself, I won't want to leave my room. I, I go in like a really hole. So that goes like my physical health. So if there's like people, there's people like that. So like they don't get an outlet sort of thing. Um, so they're always acting up. I know a lot of my friends that they get into so much bother because they're so physical and then they find training and it, it helps them so much. So if, if there's people that are getting into trouble and they feel like they're in school and they're just getting into trouble constant, they should definitely go to a gym because it, it helps a lot. Well, I just I just went through it there. I was um, injured and I got pulled out of uh, the fight I was supposed to have a couple of weeks ago. That was a big struggle because I couldn't train for say four weeks. And it, it's horrible, like, see not being able to train, it's you feel like you're actually like losing something because it's such a long distance so I wasn't getting to the gym for sessions I couldn't go out and train so I was just sitting in my room um, or I was sitting with my girlfriend and it was just getting I, I just I, I didn't like it I was getting really really down it was getting sad almost like just sad and for no reason it, it was it was very depressing and then not training is horrible and then I've got back and I'm getting a bit better now but that's what I'm saying, like my physical health goes along with my mental health. So if I'm not training, I think I let everything get on top of me. This gym's basically raised me. I've got pictures on my phone and I was like, I think I was like 11 or 12, it was when this gym first opened and uh, I came for the open day. And I, Danny Henry, he's in, he was in the UFC at the time, and Stevie Ray, they were all here. And uh, I was dead young and I got to see them kind of boys. And I've got like pictures with them. I was purely like fanboy and I was like so young. And then I started training with everyone and like everyone treated me so good. I was the youngest on the mat. I, I never went to like kids classes or that. I was always just in the adult classes. And like all the boys just took me in sort of thing. They, I was just treated like one of the boys since I was like 12. Now I'm 16 and I get treated like a fully grown guy. Like sparring the boys, there's no, they don't take it easy or anything like that. There's none of that. So it's definitely helped me. It's like, it feels like a part of a family, like everyone in here. We see each other more than we see our family at home. Like I'll see them way more than I see like my family. So it is, it, it helps, it helps a lot. After winning a fight is, is, is the best feeling. It's so exciting. There was one, my last fight, when I won, I jumped up in the cage and all my friends were like at the side. There was friends, family, it was a bit, actually I really, really, I had a big crowd of people. That was, that was really exciting. Like when I was on top of the cage and I was shouting at all my friends and everyone was like, Going off there, that, that that was class. You'll never know how good something is in, in, unless you try it. So many people, like they, they want to do something, they feel like they'll be they'll be good at something, but they don't try, so they never get anywhere. So if you want to get somewhere in life, you definitely need to, to do it. You need to take a step. So anyone that's wanting to try, it's not it's not scary. Like people think that the the gyms are so scary, and you come, you get battered, and like oh everyone's out to get you, but they're not like. In the gyms, people just want to help each other. Everyone wants the same goal, and everyone in the gym helps each other reach their goal. Like everyone pushes each other. There's no that in this gym anyway. There's no like tension. No one's gunning for anyone. Like you're not. If you're just a beginner, you're going to get helped out massively. You're not going to get your confidence knocked. The only thing that's going to get built is your confidence. It's not going to get taken away. So I think people think that they're going to get battered, lose confidence, but that's not what happens. Patience is. Definitely a big thing. Sometimes um, it's really hard. I was training for like three years straight, six days a week, it's constant. Um, that's probably how I grew so much, but without a fight. So it felt like I was training and getting nothing from it. I felt like I was training and had nothing to train for. I was just sort of training for myself. And then I got a fight and it was like the best thing ever. So it's definitely like you need patience if you want to get anywhere. So sometimes I'll be training and I won't get matched for a fight. So if no one will take a fight, then I, I'm training for for ages and ages and ages. Mental health is a big thing. Sometimes it can be good and sometimes it can be bad. It's like a roller coaster. Sometimes you're you're up so high, like after a fight, I'm getting all these messages. People tell me how good I am, and then I just come back down to earth. It's like reality hits. It's like a pure come down. It's horrible. You need to stay on top of your mental health. Your mental health goes along with your physical health, I think. Speak, definitely speak about your problems. Do not bottle up. The more you bottle up, the worse it is. Um, if you're going through something, you need to find someone that you can talk to because that's, that's how you get, you get things off your chest.
definitely. Yeah, I want to be in the UFC. I want to turn turn pro when I'm 18, 19. So I want three more fights um, by the end of this year. Then next year I'm going to pick up that BMF belt, um, 61 or 63.5. If they make a catchweight belt, I'll take that belt. And then I'm just coming for everything.